In this video, I will show you how to wire up a telephone jack or a telephone socket. I have on screen currently a patchless box with a CAT5 cable in it that will be terminating to create the telephone socket. We will be looking at two different socket types. We have this one which is quite a simpler type. It has the standard telephone color codes which we will be terminating by matching the appropriate cable colors to each terminal here. We will also do for this type which is a faceplate that receives a keystone jack which actually has the conductors for the telephone socket and so the terminations will be done on this keystone jack by following the cable color coding directions that are drawn in here. I will show you how to use this color coding in the course of this tutorial. The tools required for this process include a punch down and a cutting plier. Let's come back to our Patrice box here and uh, we have in here a CAT5E cable that is drawn into it and this box is intended for a telephone socket. This cable can easily slip into the conduit so we'll first secure it by tying it up in this way. This is a four pair cable but we require just the blue and the orange pairs. So we'll cut out the green and brown pairs. So these are the pairs that we will be using to terminate our socket. And we will start with this type of socket. As you can see on the screen, this is the standard color code matching for each of the cables that we'll be using in this demonstration. So the striped orange will be connected to the black that is on the socket, the black on the socket. The solid blue will go to the red on the socket. The striped blue will go to the green on the socket and then the solid orange will go to the yellow on the socket. So this is the standard color code matches for the telephone installation. We will go ahead and now unwound the cable. Peel them to reveal the conductors. We will start with the black, so I will loosen the terminal. and place the striped orange cable and then tighten it up very well. I will do for red, placing the blue, tighten it up. Now the green. This one will take the striped blue. And finally, the solid orange to the yellow on the socket. Tighten it firmly. So here is our wired socket. This is a very simple one provided you know your colors and how to match them up very well. When you are done, you can just use the socket screws and tighten up on the patchless box so you have your fully installed socket. Let's cut it off so we can do for the other type of socket termination. So here is a faceplate and a cut 5 keystone jack. They are assembled in this way. So when you open the front, you will find the conductors in there. This is where the telephone RJ11 plugs. This is where we would be doing the terminations using the color codes here. Let me try and unwound the cables. 
here is the keystone jack and as indicated by the colors as you can see here the stripe blue color will be placed here the solid blue follows here the stripe orange will be placed here and then the solid orange comes here so let me do the cable placement as i just explained following the color guide the stripe blue press it down the solid blue comes here you press it down as well then the striped orange press it into it and finally the solid orange so all the cables are ready to be punched down so with the help of my punch down tool i will punch each of the cables so i want you to see how i will go about it you will have to insert the punch down tool in this way and press it down insert punch down you punch this one to down punch down again so we have finished the terminations to place it on the part rest we will have to remove the front cover to reveal the screw holes here so with the socket screws we would have to tighten the socket And when we are done, we'll just cover it up again. And our telephone socket is ready.